Let's talk Young Thug, man. Free Young Thug, first and foremost. Free Thug. Um, he's definitely considered a, a, a influential rapper as well. Mm -hmm. A trendsetter in his mm -hmm. own right. What, he is. What, he is. what is your relationship with Young Thug? I know Thug personally, you know what I'm saying? Personal on personal, personal levels. Um, At that 1017 era when he was doing, you know, the 1017 stuff with Thug. If you look at all those 1017 Thug albums, I'm on probably every one of them. Um, like I say, me and Thug had done just built a relationship, just street relationship, you know what I'm saying? That bled over into the music through one of my homeboys named Sanchez, you know what I'm saying? Um, and when me and brushed off with each other, it just was like, you know, you got the, the chemistry just was there, man. I mean, me and Thug probably did about 15, 20 records, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And so they say a lot, like we had done got, you know, like I say, That's pretty project, close. So I, yeah, so <laughs> That's two EPs, I got a, I got a, I, I got a, you know what I'm saying? I got a great respect for him and where he came from and how he made his situation better and just sticking with his craft and just daring to be different, pushing the edge, pushing the envelope, you know what I'm saying? So Now, now speaking of where he came from, it is said that Thug came from the bottom of the bottom. True. The bottom of the bottom, the bottom of the bottom. Like even when I <clears throat> even when I met Thug and started being around, um he that was the bottom of the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Your living conditions where you like it wasn't the best of the best or where you wanted to be, you know what I'm saying? And not just for you, you know what I'm saying? You you know, just for even people around, you know what I'm saying? And um you gotta be strong, man, when you down. It was almost like I seen myself. Cause I slept in Tumbleville on flows, on couches, and in the midst of all this, I still was doing music, and Gucci was still pulling up, and Dro was still pulling up, but I didn't feel like no it type. Cause when I went back home, bro, I, I went home to bull. I went through the fence and had to crawl through the fence and go through the back door, go to sleep, hide my um, pants that I took off if I had a little money in it. Cause my aunties and uncles up all night, you know they gonna go in your pockets. You know what I'm saying? Get you. Uh, it was just like. Dealing with them living conditions, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And um, to be able to just harness in on your crowd, bro, and not the best living condition. I'm talking about living conditions that just say a, a lot about what you want and how sure what you uh, want to do that you are. You feel me? The best of us are not defined by where we came from. We were defined by what we do when we get to where we're going. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And that, that's one of the things I want to ask you because I... I I see a similarity in the stories when you, you say, you know, like coming out of the veil, you know, in, in, in the powder trap, you know, what I mean? yeah. like just yeah. really coming from from humble beginnings to superstardom, you know, what I'm saying like like you and yourself and Thug did. Um, can you tell, tell me a story about young Thug that the average person might not know? I mean, if everybody know him, I mean, they know he's silly and like the John, he going to join you. He gonna join you off the rip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, like to play. Like, he gonna join you off the rip. And when I seen that about him, I said, damn, him and Dro in the same. But I hate to hit, see him and young Dro in the same room. Because <laughs> they, they gonna join. That's what they do. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? They gonna, I'm talking about the whole time. But here you got on. They gonna join you. You know what I'm saying? And so, he love to join. That one thing I do know about Thug. Shots out Thug, man. Free Thug, ASAP, man. The fair way. The fastest. Yeah, they, they, zone uh, three, zone three. That uh, that that, that Rico case is uh, I mean, I, I I've been following it, you know, over the past couple of months because you know we we're reporting on it, and it's just it's just so many holes in it, and it's just like they trying too hard. Mm. They trying too hard to put some stuff on that boy, and they ain't, I, I, from what I see, they ain't got nothing. That's why they keep on letting folk out so they can try to get some, but they ain't. Man, free thug, man. Free him the fast way. Zone yeah, three, man. the biggest, the zone three finest. Yes, sir. Free thug. What is up? What is your relationship with Soldier Boy? I never really had a relationship with him. Really, really? had that. I never had a chance to meet him or nothing like that. For real, for real. So I don't really, I don't really know him. I mean, you would think that two quote unquote first trendsetters would have met <laughs> each other by now. <laughs> you know, uh, Draco says a lot of lot of sporadic things. Yeah. Uh, he wants was on record saying that he has 150 shooters in Atlanta. You ever seen any of them? 150 who? Shooters. 
Nah, I, ain't, <laughs> I don't know what's the, where you from. <laughs> I know what I know where I'm from. I'm saying like yeah. if he's saying it like I don't know where he's from in Atlanta, like what zone you from? Like Atlanta is a real place. You can't you when you're dealing with real Atlanta niggas, you cannot just be talking about you from Atlanta. You gotta narrow it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot Buddy, what zone you from? Buddy, where your auntie done from? What middle school you went to? You see what I'm saying? Hey man, did did you used to be in Pool Creek? Did you used to get on the church bus, guy? When the church boys come through the apartments and t- like it's a lot, so it's like, where was the shooters at? Like, then I probably can. I, you sound. I gotta be able to locate. Yeah. Like, cause I don't know so like that, so I don't know if he from zone one, if he from the three. I'm from the three, so yeah. I know he ain't from the three. I don't think he from zone four. I don't know if he from zone six. So I it's just I have to find out what part of Atlanta is that. Stan, let's do some research right quick and see if we can find out which zone Soldier Boy says he's from. Is he a greater baby? Was he born a greater? I know I was born on Butler Street at Grady, so I'm like the heart of the city. You know, when you go to Grady, boy, it's like Crackhead Festival. You know, it just changed around Grady. It's, you know, is you know, is Grady is uh. It was said that he was uh he grew up around Quanta Cash. He grew up around Quanta Cash. Yeah. Quanta Cash from the west side. I know that for sure. <laughs> Quanta Cash official. Shout out Quanta. Yeah, shout out Quanta. Quanta from the west side. I remember I used to be when I was like early on, me and Quanny, like I used to go to his basement and get beats from Quanny. I think what I'm everybody saying? was in that basement, boy. You see what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah. Like, so you know, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting you down. I'm really from the spot. So I don't, I guess he from zone one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's why I said, I just, I'm just. Stay, un- you got that I, research done. I, <laughs> we ain't put up the receipts yet. Uh, we gonna- <laughs> Shout out, soldier. Shout out, soldier. First to do it. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes, all right, all right. sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, but say the first. <laughs> he said the first one. For sure. Being, being that you are the self-proclaimed pioneer of drip, what is the next wave and next trend that we need to be on the lookout for? What's next? What do I need to go be getting? What I need to be stocking up on? Man, it's just like. I don't know. It's like a sport. It's like some therapeutic, I guess, for recreation. I don't know, like, what's the next. I just know if you know I'm very trendy, so you know it's going to be something different. Um, Like I say, it's not nothing like with my – it's not even a plan. Like, I can sit right here and say, okay, I'm finna make this going – it's just – it's going to come. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't know. When they say they got to be in you, not on you. Come on. That's just in me. He say from zone th- – uh, Stan says it. Soldier Boy says he's from Zone Three. Hmm. Oh, I just learned. I mean, it's new for me. I just learned something new. There it I is. I never knew that. <laughs> there it is. 